Here they go. Oh, my second graders, looking at them. Oh, they're having fun. Oh, now that definitely would happen when... Remember, all my whistle, everybody find a partner. That's a whippy whistle. Boundaries are going to be these green lines all the way down. So in this big green circle or square. And what's going to happen is the hits are going to chase the other four partner groups. And once you get tagged, they are now hits. So once you're tagged, you're now hit. You just keep going until the game is over. So do the partners have to hold hands or something? Yeah, they have to interlock. Okay. They'll interlock together and y'all run around. Okay, you're talking to second graders. So you just talk too much. You should have just got two people out and showed them, right? Because they they didn't listen. They, you know, went through. Okay, let's play. All right, let's play. Dogs out, spread around, start running with the tag. Dogs Whoever's got the balls, it. inside with both their ankles and the other person is going to get inside and interlock one ankle, one ankle inside the, and then y'all stretch it out. And basically the routine we're going to do is going to be out and in, out and in for starters. Y'all understand? And then after y'all do that, just move them up like you did last class. So y'all just spread out to the different jump ropes. We have four jump ropes out, so three to each one. So we have to both each one. Okay. Grouping them. If you had second graders and you told them to group in groups of three, uh, three. So it wouldn't, you have to use your student management transitions to be able to put them in groups of three. Remember, you have 60 kids in class. They've let the whole third grade on you so they can have a planning hour, you know? Let's see how tall you can get. All the way up to your waist, guys, right? Yeah. It's just like the Americans, but... 
in, out, in, out, in, out, on. Okay, snap to the knees. It helps to be tall in this game, doesn't it? And have short partners. Somehow this ma match of three is just, can you imagine jumping at his knee height? How much fun that's going to Especially for Nicole, that's going to be real, real cute. I, now look, if you mess up though, you lose your turn. Yeah. We tried for five years. Yeah. We should like. If you mess up, you lose your turn and your next partner goes. In, out, in, out, in, out, on. You're supposed to actually say it as you do it. And as you get better, they actually turn music on. You go through a whole, you know, musical thing. And what's this called, children? Ice cream. Ice cream cone. Good boys and girls. My, the smartest second graders I've ever seen. Very large second graders. I think y'all got held back a little bit, don't you? All right, now since we're done with that, we're now going to move to to Nicoline. So everybody follow me. He's got big feet, so spread those, not l overly large feet, but I mean, bigger <laughs> feet than little kids. Yes. You should be opposite of each other, so when one is going one way, the other, you know, you should be in the same time. There they go. Yeah, now they're par they're partners. Yeah. Yes.
Look at that coordination. And who said baseball players don't have feet agility, huh? Look, give it to me. I'll put it. You're going to lose it. Yeah, give it. Put, I'll put it in your pocket. The foot closest to the poles is the one you step with every time. So, does anybody have any questions? Want to try it? Try it without the human feet right now. Somebody hold the poles so, so they don't sure flop all, all over the place. She's got it. Okay. We gotta put all this together at the end. Oh, it may, oh, we all put it all together and it's a dance at the end. It's 
One. Two. Well, here's one. To make it a little bit shorter. To where we have more time to add in something else. Okay. So basically, this is going to be one like we just did. And then. So two. every time they turn around, there is going to be a it's number? If the if the beaters will count for them and kind of help them, that that helps too. Keeps everybody together. Simplify. You're, they're little kids. Simplify. So all you're going to do is step in twice. So you're going to hop twice inside the circle, or inside the line. And then you're going to hop back out. That's one, two, three. So one, two, three. That's the first part. Then all you're doing is the crossover step. So once you come out, all you're doing is the crossover step. He's actually just put two techniques together. He's done a combination. And then one, two, three, crossover step. One, two, three. Beautiful. Crossover. Beautiful. Much easier, huh? When you think about it though. Great. Y'all try this out. I mean, not without the ball. Borrow my four square balls. They won't hurt anybody. Put them in the closet and put them in a box. And there's a red box. And 
and I have a 9.30 class in here, so just bring them back. Well, guys, we'll be in the rest of the board, if that's okay. Do you have a class at 830? No. Okay. Just be down here. We're going to set bowling up on the other side. Getting close, Felix. Get Switching teachers. Alright. Hey guys, we're going to teacher. We're going to add it all together. It's going to be the, um, the normal step. It's going to be four of that, like one, two, three. One, you know, normal. And then you're going to do four circles around. You're going to do straight for you. Then you're going to do your straddle step. I don't think we taught that, so I'll teach it right now. It's going to go hop, hop, out. Hop, hop, out. Hop, hop, out, hop, hop, out. For the next four, you're going to go hop, turn, out, hop, turn, out, hop, turn, out, hop, turn, out. Okay. Did you pick that one up? Did I pick it up? The turning one? No. It was on the, um, the video, actually. Yeah. Let's, let, this is second graders, and this is their second day of tinkling. Skills is probably too hot for that. Let's see if they can put that together. You know what you just showed the straddle? Let's see if they can do the straddle, then try to put it together in your routine. Okay. Right? All and right. then we'll see. Let's not do turning around inside the poles. Okay, y'all go ahead and do the straddle stuff without the turn. Just eight, hop, hop, out. Hop, hop, hop. Got it. Hop, hop, hop. Stop talking. This is children. Stop explaining these big long paragraphs. This is not coaching high school, right? Get two kids up in front of the 60, right? And if you really got 60 kids, they're not going to listen, so you're going to have to get them probably come sit down, but we'll skip that part, right? So get two kids up there and talk them through it as they go. Okay. Somebody hold the poles or we're going to have a major accident, right? Okay. Now talk them through it. Count it for them. Count it out. Okay, first step inside. I'm going to show you how to do it. Go hop, hop, out. Hop, hop, out. Do it Like, whenever, this is the thing, y'all. Whenever you go out, you're going to hop back in. Hop, hop, out. So it's like hop, hop, hop out. Hop, 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 hop two. Out. Hop, hop, three. Hop, hop, four, and then... And then you're going to do four more with no turn, like I said. So can y'all, y'all got it? Got it. Okay, can y'all start for me? I'm sorry, I think we're going to... Also, if you're afraid to, if they're going to smash their feet or something, you can just beat up and down on the things and not actually go in. Go bum, bum, bum. Also, the teacher can clap. Uh, hold, hold, hold my video thing so I don't end up with a mess. Okay, look. 
you can go, okay class, we'll all together. Get the whole class to clap with you. Come on. Just say the word, teacher. Pop, pop, out, pop, pop, out. Okay, now let's try. And you leave the class as they drop it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Leave the class. Take charge. Hopping on the second one because you're already going to be there. You're going to go one, one, so you're going to go hop, hop, out, and that's when they start being okay. the second one. Start on the inside. Hey, hey let's just, let's not clap. Let's just. Clap. your um your poster yeah they've got big feet so you got to make room for them huh Yeah, it's it's tough. Yeah. yeah, we'll see which group gets it first, huh? That's why it's called running through tires on steroids, right? Please. 
we need to put in all the meat together. We need to leave the beans and that'll help. And then, if that goes okay, then maybe we'll finish it. But it's four after when you, when you switch. How many more minutes do you have before you have to do Jake? Turn it over to me at 815. You've got a big cast of that one you need to pick up. If, you, if I have to pick up before you pick up there. So let's make her the team captain. Everybody's got to stay with her. Right? Yeah. She, start, start beating. Voices I can't hear her. Same direction, that was good. I'd like to see that. Okay. So, all of these the other the so voice. Like You're still drawing an X with your arms. Just an overhand throw instead of an underhand throw. And if you're ready, try that you probably need to review the X because you got two new students that have no idea what's going on. He's he's showering over there. Which is a total, it's a different show. I'm sorry, Miss Kaya, I didn't understand you. He, he's throwing only with one hand. He's doing a different technique. Okay, y'all use both your hands. Try and catch it. Don't just use. T turn around and face them because they can't hear a word you say when you're facing away. He's got it. He, he, you are the man. Hey, both the twins. I'm telling you, talk about competition there. It's all. It's sitting in that dugout for so many years. That's what it is. Bored to death. I've never seen a baseball player that can't juggle. Some of them do it better than the others. Great high end coordination. Helps with your math skills. Left brain, right brain activity. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. Direction. Who does what? Tell. They're little kids.
and we'll put it in the closet.